Hey guys, so we are on the way inside of Bass Pro. It's me and Marshall here, and I was thinking maybe we could try to buy like the coolest, craziest topwater lures. I've been wanting to do this. It's starting to warm up outside, and topwater is like topwater time is here. It's topwater time. I was thinking we go inside of this Bass Pro and we buy like walking baits, frogs, poppers, and we try to spend like twenty, twenty-five dollars on topwater lure, and we go to a pond a little bit later and we just go catch fish on all of them. So I think we're gonna send that. Also, I've met a couple of employees on the inside. I don't mean to bother you, but yeah. can me and my friend get a picture. Yeah, that's cool. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're gonna go inside, buy some lures, and then we're gonna go back to a pond and try to catch some big mouth bass, so stay tuned. All right guys, so the last two times I've been here, I've kind of done like a walkthrough tour. I'm not gonna do that today, but you're gonna have to go check out one of my previous videos. Me and Marshall actually spent the night inside of this Bass Pro, so go check that out. All right guys, looking at these little popping frogs here, I'm thinking the first one I'm gonna get is this little $10 clear one. When I saw this, I was like, I have to get that. But I'm thinking we do a frog, like a walking bait, and something with a prop on the back. So I'm gonna let Marshall kind of pick out a couple more of the lures, but I had to, oh, oh. I had to get this one and the $20 budget challenge out the window because this one's $10 and I know we're not going to just be able to spend 20 So we're going to try to keep it under like 40 I think. But this is going to be the first lure. And I also want to get one of these Zoom Frogs. Which, Marshall, you want to pick it out? Yeah, I want to I wanna pick one out. Uh, it's all about the bottom color. Dude. No, that's it's what I'm about... saying. Like, everybody worries about the top. You got to worry about the bottom because the fish are seeing the bottom. So we got, we got like a white and black bottom here. We got a solid black bottom on this one, which is pretty good. Probably only gonna have like a green bottom or something, usually how they go. Yeah, green, like yellow up top. On this. So like, it's all about on do we want like a solid white bottom, a solid black bottom, or the speckled. And I'm gonna say, I like the all black. So okay. Okay, if you're perfect. good with that, we'll do, a, we'll do an all black. black. All right. We have like two contrasts, yeah, totally different. Two totally different things. So this video won't be shot all in one day. It'll have to be like three different days. Yeah. Have to wait for three different types of conditions. But all right, so let's try to get like a prop bait now. All right, guys, you know, big Berkeley guy here. My thing, I haven't said this yet on the video, but I really like these Chapos and they're always cheaper than Whopper Flopper. So these are always been my go-to and we've kind of started like a little, we've kind of started like a little clear lure thing with that clear frog down there. So I think we might go with the clear Chapo. Or what do you think, Marshall? Should we go with the clear Chapo or should we go with like the frog pattern? I kind of like that one. That one's different. It's very unique. There's not anything like that. Or there's this one too. I'm kind of feeling this one though because we already have a clear one. What do you think? Yeah, you think this one? All right, we're gonna send this one. And then we're gonna do, what do you think? A popper or a walking bait? Walker. Walker, all right. I was thinking either this one or this one. This one's kind of slightly clear. I say, let's do that one. Cause we, the chopper is kind of that color. Yeah, okay, we'll do that one then. Yeah. All right guys, we are about to launch the kayak today. It is currently 12 o'clock and we have a long day of fishing ahead of us. I plan on being out here until like eight or nine tonight. So we have water and a cooler, something we normally don't bring. We have all of our rods and there are a whole bunch of little bait fish that just swam up and I'm looking for a bass that probably chased them up. That's a good sign at the boat launch. There's a boat out and then there's another John boat somewhere over there that I saw. So, I mean, if there's bait fish swimming like that at the boat launch, it should be, we're going to take that as a good sign. We're not going to say that it means we're going to catch a whole bunch of fish, but I mean, you never know. Don't say it's my fault, it's my fault. Got the clear color. Oh, that's gonna get slurped. This is first top water bite of the year we're going for right here. See how juicy that walk is on that? My goodness. There's one. There we go, baby. Finally hooked up. First fish, if he's still in there. I think this is a good one. Just trying to tire him out. 
Look at all these fry right here. Oh, he's so good. I think we got him. Barely hooked corner. Okay. Hey. First fish of the challenge is not a bad one at all. How did I hook you like that, dude? <laughs> oh, it's going to be hard to put down this chopo. I've had like five bites on it. I had two little dinks from out and eat it on this other bank. My camera wasn't on. I had to let it go because I would have got too happy about it. But this is the second fish on it. Guys, first fish of the challenge. I hate I don't have a skill with me, but it's only about a pound or so. Still a really nice fish. I had one that was probably a little bit bigger than this. Eat it the first time. I think the first one might have been like two or three. I hate I didn't hook him, but I mean, gosh, at least we still got one. Should we make a TikTok? Let's make a quick little TikTok. First top water fish of 2021, guys. That's very exciting. Guys, we're gonna go ahead and let this one go. I know we're doing a challenge video, but I think we might try to catch a couple more on the chop up. Cause it was doing it was doing better than the Jaywalker. I've had two bites on the Jaywalker, but the Chopo I've had, that was my fourth on the Chopo. I had two on that side, one that I lost right here, and then just caught that one. So we're gonna keep fishing the Chopo, at least in this little section of the lake, and then we're gonna kind of move around. Exciting. There's one. Oh, he came off. He came off. See if he's gonna follow it. Oh, there's another one right there. Look, here comes one. I had to drag it right over one right here. Dang, I just had another one. See, maybe. Oh, shoot. <laughs> Guys, we just got another fish. The camera wasn't on. <laughs> I've had two blubs. I turned it off after the last blub to restart it and the camera wasn't on. I caught him out of this one little pocket right here. I'm gonna try not to mess this spot up. I'm gonna, before, before I hook this one, I'm gonna try to pedal up some. All right, guys, first fish on the Jaywalker. The mouth looked like it was like a two or three pounder, but <laughs> he came up and and he's a decent fish he's still about a pound but when i saw the mouth i was like oh yeah it's like two or three look you know it always looks big it always looks bigger like when you went a while without catching a fish i've been out here for about three hours without a bite but we got ourselves a big mouth bass baby let's go it's a nice pretty release see you later these fishing are pretty aggressive so she might kick off nice for us maybe not Oh, there was one. He missed it. Guys, I think those might be like my favorite type of blow up. Well, it's nice when they blow up on it and then they like take it with them, you know? But I think my favorite ones are like when they blow it or when they blow up on it and they just like knock it up. When they just like knock it up or like don't take it. That was a big one. Fish. That was a really big fish. That was a really big fish. Stay calm. Gosh, that was a big fish. I know that was a big fish. 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 Just lost the big one. Didn't even eat the frog, but if it did, I probably would have broken my rod. It was so big. Jesus Christ. It looked like a big one just swam off right there. Or there was a big wake at least. I yeah, made it to the next spot. I came to a different spot so I could fish these frogs and Greg is here with us now. So 
we're gonna try to get on some of these fish i could put the kayak in here but i think there might be a couple more spots we go to so we're gonna skip out on the kayak today hopefully there's no mr snakey snakes down here because i don't like snakey snakes it's a snake no no i knew there was a snake over there i don't know i didn't look hard enough bro i just saw it moving it's like right in here i knew it was a snake Well, guys, we just lost our clear frog, and I'm kind of sad about that. I mean, we had one bite on it, and yesterday we had one blow up on it, so I have no clue where it is. I was, I stood over there for like five, ten minutes looking for it, and cause I'm, I want to go get it if I can find it, but there's no telling where it's at, so. <laughs> all right guys so i'm here with my friends from uab i lost both my frogs in the video as you just saw but um we're gonna go fish they don't know that yet i have a boat scheduled for us it's gonna come get us in the morning but anyway guys i hope you enjoyed today's video don't forget to fish them hard and have a good day just so y'all know this is my first time ever fishing just saying <laughs>